maybe I'm naive, I haven't dealt with anything yet, but I don't have any real fears. This is what I really want to do. Even if you just put a wee bit of tarmac around the edges it so we kind of get the lid up, that would be great. I definitely thought it was going to be like fires every day, kind of just going out and just saving people, you know what I mean, and just doing heroics constantly, you know, <laughs> it would just be like every day you saved somebody's life, you know what I mean, or you risked your own. First thing in the morning, you know, save a couple of folk back for a bit of tea and toast, you know, get cleaned up and straight back out again. But that hasn't quite turned out that way. It's had hairy moments, but they're few and far between. There's a lot more to be getting on me. Drink it. Yeah, big snap. <laughs> 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 I swear to God, I'm not sure what I No, you've been a bit of a drama queen, are you? No. Yeah. Honestly, well, nah. I'm a really low tolerance to bad smell and things like that. Try to get used to it. Oh, I could do it. It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Changing a foam extinguisher is possibly the worst job in the fire brigade. Disgusting. It smells vile. It gives you the book. No <laughs> problem. <laughs> God, he's a man. God, God, he's a man. You're the man. You're the man. Everybody else found something else. I was, um, what was that? I was, um, sticking pins in my eyes. <laughs> For the trainees, it's on with the new shirts, trousers, and shoes, and off to meet the chief. Thank you very much, folks. Grab a seat. Shortly, you'll be out on those streets as an ambassador of Strathclyde Fire and Rescue, one of 4,000 people who protect 2.5 million. All right? And there'll be occasions where your life is at risk. The thing that will keep you alive is training. An inch or so that way, ideal. You'll find out that a lot of the procedures, the policy, the reasons why we do things are built on the back of firefighters who have lost their lives, firefighters who have been seriously injured at incidents. All that history and 300 years of tradition of the Fire and Rescue Service now is handed over to you. You're carrying a lot of baggage from, you know, firefighters who preceded you and served in this service with huge distinction, given their lives. So from 4,000 applicants, here you are the best of the very best. Hill's watch manager, Thomas Kerr, takes charge of the situation. Really just to notify the owner of that, but we need the key hold of that for access to um, ascertain where the fire can reach. Four BA to start with, boys, eh? Four BA. Boys, the chance of being chemicals, eh? We've been a dry cleaner, so just keep your eye on, keep yourself right. The firefighters will wear breathing apparatus, known as BA, to enter the fire. Dry cleaners, the process uh, is extinguishing the fire, four BA wearers, four shield jet. All the 
bounces above are being cleared, so there's uh, no risk of involving a person above. Ah, uh, somebody else's turn tonight. <laughs> they maybe have to go into BA and go up the stairs. Somebody's checking to make sure there's no um, uh, MD in the house, he's up the stairs, so we may still go in yet. Is it a light off? You take the sets off, eh? Take the sets off in a spotlight. Spotlight. Take the sets off in a spotlight. Please. Could have been a lot worse, eh? especially with uh, people living in the houses up above. I don't think many of the houses got affected with the smoke, so they were lucky. A fair amount of damage, eh? That's 75%. Fire damage. It's initially started in the far corner there with the greatest degree of burning is. But, um, without further information, fire investigation, it's hard to tell the actual cause of the fire. The dry cleaners is devastated, but Gordy is more upset about missing out on the action. I missed it, I never got a BA shout. If we were first here, then it would be awesome if we were first in, but. Calcadens beat us here, they're closer, so they get in first. We'll get the one later on. What me, George? Just need to drive faster to the next turn. Good to go. Good to go. At least we don't have any BA sets to service. Okay. Maryhill's second crew are attending a bin fire. That's right at the bottom bend. There it is. Gonna be cherubs just waiting on us. Attendances at arson incidents like this one are becoming more frequent and commonly started by children. In some cases, the situation can get aggressive, but the firefighters must remain calm and focused on the job and not react to any provocation. Got love them. They're just wee cherubs. <laughs> okay, he's like a good banter with them. Sometimes they can get a wee bit full of bravado and then they, they want to cause a bit of bother, but usually they're all right. Usually they're all right. You get the odd cheeky one, you know, that thinks they're, they're smart. But um, there's, no, there's not much we can do, you know, we just go to Gran and Berra. One week into the 12 week course, and the trainees haven't yet left the classroom. Regular exams are part of the course and the squads take any opportunity to revise. Every minute you've got in here is good to try and get it in. Every tea break, every lunch break, we're all sitting with our books. <laughs> Most of the trainees haven't studied this hard since school. The old cogs are starting to creak back in the eyes. 30-year-old former HGV driver Ian McCready is finding it hard to adjust. I'm finding it difficult to take some of the information on. Um, we're actually doing questioning each other, and I, I find I can learn a lot more easier that way than doing it at home, just with my nose in the book. Hopefully I'll cope with it. I know it's not going to be easy and I'm going to have to really work at it, but I'm determined to get there, and I will get there. Aye. Aye, I'm not going to let it beat me now. It's a day off for Gordy McDermott, and time to indulge in his favourite pastime. It was a magazine that I buy, IDJ magazine, and I won their competition. It was like a kind of raw talent DJ kind of contest, and I won that. And then after I'd done that, everybody was all like, oh, so you'll be leaving the fire brigade then and like going to do the summer in Ibiza, you know what I mean? I was like, nah, I somehow doubt it. I wouldn't say I would 
want to chuck the fire brigade to take up DJing, you know what I mean? Unless somebody can make a good offer. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of stuff I do is basically just kind of background stuff, like the first couple of hours of the night, just playing funk and jazz and everything, and just kind of get the night started. Get the ladies up to dance and the guys will follow all the time, so you just put on a bit of camp funk and disco, you know what I mean? Get the ladies up and as soon as they're up dancing, the guys always come up straight behind them every time. The fire training centre will be the home for the trainees for the next 11 weeks. And finally, a chance for them to don their firefighting gear. First time we're going out to do some drills. What are we getting? Hose running? Eh, uh, oh, oh, it's first lot of hose running. Yeah. First lot of hose running. So we're going to be sick after this. So what are you for that? <laughs> so I'm not to go to the toilet or more. Yeah, I went to the Squad. Let's go. Mr. Henderson, do you know what number you are? Let's fall in. Right dress. All right, guys, this is where the serious stuff starts. This is where we knew where I'm looking for you to be hitting the ground running. What I just seen there when I fell you out is wandering there here. That's not acceptable. Everything new when you've got this gear on is at a double. Do I make myself clear? On the command squad number, squad all number from the right. Squad number! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, ten! Guys, this isn't loud enough. I'll tell you where I'll go, I'll go 20 feet away and I still want to hear you. You'll still hear me, I can guarantee you that. Cruise one number from the right hand force, cruise number! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two! OK, that was a half-hearted start. When guys get a move on. Quite as we can, guys, more than a bit of effort in here now. Get it right up, let's go, girl. That's it. The idea of what they're doing just now is basically to get any surplus water that's in the hose out it before they actually start to roll it up. It's not just as, quite as easy as just actually running something out. You've got to get kind of, your wrist moving as well, get a technique of running the delivery hose out, otherwise you end up dragging the cup on the way up the drill yard. Mr McCready, you've no looked up once we started rolling it up. Miss Caldwell, what did I tell you about that? Don't drop the cutlet. Right, keep going. Right, to there. And then start to run it tight as that, no underneath your body, all right? Think of fire ground situations. Going to be a lot of people about, a lot of motors about, a lot of equipment about. Miss Caldwell! That's an absolute shambles. As soon as you get that moving, keep it moving. So happy with that, just get it right up there quick. Get a wee twist, see with your wrists. Try and get your wrists moving like that. That's it, keep them going, keep your wrists moving. It's hard going. It's enjoyable though. Enjoyable, it's not a word of a juice. It's hard graft. I'm sure I'll we'll get the knack of it. Once I get the knack of it, I'll be fine. I just don't seem to have it yet. Knackering. If you were to do that every day, you would be dead within a week. Is everybody fighting well? Yes, sir. Quite happy to go again. Yes, sir. First detail, good up. Quite as we can, guys. More than a bit of effort in here now. Mr. Miller, that's an absolute shambles. It's a sort of Christian shrine of some sort. Strange. Strange. Unusual. These are uh, volunteers, but there's nothing amateur about them. They're very professional, very dedicated, public-spirited people that just want to help. Nobody in my squad has ever fell off a ladder. It's not going to hurt them, all right? One Mr Craig Belief, don't look down. That's us all the way from Maryhill out into the countryside. Lovely fresh air. 